Hello YouTube, this is Keith, Kevin, Ken. How you doing? How you doing? Man, I hope you're doing well. Time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. It is Thursday, March 7th, 2019. And uh, it's just a tough kind of week <laughs> for me. But what I figured, and a real cold week on the East Coast. Man, it's cold. Next week is supposed to be better. Um, ah, it is freezing. Uh, so we'll see. Next week is supposed to start turning, and hopefully we'll get into spring. Um, let's talk about what I'm carrying today. Today, it's my Mont Blanc chronograph. You guys know this is like 20-something years old. I bought it from the Mont Blanc store, a uh Mont Blanc store in the Atlanta upscale mall. I forget the name of it. The cigar. Hold on. Oh, man. The Trinidad is such a great cigar. I have um, some of the old school, old branding Trinidads that are in my human door, one of my human doors that are just... On special occasions, I'll bring it out, um, especially the super uh, long ones, and just smoke it all day. I just love the Trinidad. This is a real nice smoke, especially uh, a nice Cuban cigar smoke. I'll say it again because I say it all the time that I don't do it. I keep saying I'm going to do silver coin collection stuff over the weekend, and I don't. I keep saying I now have, let's see, one... Two, three, four, five. I have half a year's worth of my Provida um, <laughs> cigar uh, clubs. It's a high-end cigar club that doesn't include Cubans because I wanted to try different uh, cigars. They're in humid or, uh, humified packages, but I need to get to those and talk about them at least. And, and I'm thinking about doing some of these individual things over the weekend so it doesn't bother the knife talk Monday through Friday. But we'll see what happens. My Shone Design pin, my brass pin, I really like this. This thing is turning perfect for me. It almost looks antique already. I really like that pin. Uh, let's see, what's the coin? The coin is the Two Dragons coin from 2018. It's a UK one-ounce silver coin. I always carry a one-ounce silver coin in my pocket for good luck. Um, they're from around the world, just part of my silver coin collection. I collect a whole bunch of silver coins, and I grab a couple of them. They're usually the ones in the cases. Um, my grandfather... On my father's side, used to always have silver dollars. I remember even at a real young age, every time he'd pull out a silver dollar. Uh, I just remember it. So I keep it in my pocket for good luck and a um, memory of him. My Mont Blanc skinny wallet. And it's all scotch. It's the blue kind <laughs> in there. It's cold, it's gray, and uh, I just haven't been with it this week. <laughs> I've been working, but man, it's just been a weird week for me. I don't know why. Um, and then let's talk about the knives. Uh, this is one of my, not one of, this is my coach pad. Then I have nice leather coach pad with the coach paper. That's fake coach paper, by the way. I've had that for over 20 years when I used to consult. And every time I'd see a coach store, no matter in what town, I'd go in and buy up all of this paper that they had. They'd always say, you want a leather? I go, I already have that, and buy up all the paper. I ran out about two, three years ago when I just started doing YouTube. And so I made my own. I don't sell it, coach. Don't come sue me or anything. It's just it looks great. I was so used to having that paper in. Hey, in 20-something years, it's easy. 
<laughs> to duplicate, but only for personal use. Yes, I'm feeling a little blue. It's not a blue Monday. It's a blue Thursday. I'm just feeling a little blue. Um, so I decided to carry blue. <laughs> that's, that's it. I woke up and I was like, man, um, I'm using my blue cricket. This is the Nescision blue cricket. I, I used, I actually put this as my keychain knife. This is my keychain knife for today. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, usually I let knives rest a while, but I wanted to carry it. Of course, Nescision is a Japanese kimono pattern it's used on a special kimono um, they have designed it for glass fiber weaving into spidaco knives some spidaco knives this is blue it also comes in uh, gray and black of course the cricket one of my favorite knives vg10 steel hollow ground with that reverse s shape gives you that belly it's just a nice, beautiful knife. If you don't use it for a keychain, and I, someone told me this years after I fell in love with the Cricut, it's a wonderful bill holder. You know, hold all your dollar bills or your, your credit cards. It's a nice money clip. But it can do a lot of great things as well. Easy to open. You could tell it's modern. The modern ones have the frame lock in the back. It's so small. Look at that small clip. Everything's so small, but it works so well. Even with fat Michelin man hands like mine. This is the Cricut. It has 1.9 inch steel. That's 1.6 inches if you're just looking at this wicked edge. <laughs> hollow ground the entire knife is just 4.6 inches total and it weighs 2.7 ounces it's a wonderful little knife to either clip into your smaller pocket um, use as a money holder uh, throw into your purse your wallet whatever it's so handy cuts so well I think right now the only one that still is available is the stainless steel version, which is great. Um, I have a type of all of them, even going back to the original, one of the original runs of the Cricut. I just love it. It's just so flexible for me, especially since I'm more of an office guy than anything else. Well, we were talking about blue <laughs> and... Uh, I figured I'd use two of the knives um, that I that were part of the trimming but hasn't trimmed. By the way, um, I know of two mistakes I made during the trimming. I will, and I'm in contact with them on uh, email, so I will deal with those. Um, but also, I just want to say thank you for the trimming. The other thing about the trim, after I do one of these sales, I get a lot of emails going, hey, now you want to, you know, bargain on the other knives? No. <laughs> and I can understand why, because I sold and I offered, you know, 45 knives, 47 knives with the trimmings. And there will be more, especially as I get newer knives in. We'll do more trimming and there'll be exclusives and all of that. Um, for me, all of the knives I love <laughs> as part of my collection, and when I trim it, it's so that it doesn't go too crazy. If I didn't do a trimming, I'd have 10 Pelican, 15, 50 Pelican cases <laughs> so full of knives. And so I do that, and I love that I can do it with this channel. I really, really do. But when knives aren't sold, believe it or not, it's not that I'm happy. If all of them sold, I'd send them all to you. I would, and use that money. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. <laughs> Uh, actually, it helped me pay for my quick trip to see my brother in Tucson. But also, you know, I'll, I'm going to do something. Probably buy some knives that I can show you guys. Or some more silver coins or something. But, or some Cuban cigars. But, um, when I don't sell something like this native with CPM S110 V Steel, 
I'm not sad, I'm happy. Uh, I have never sold out on a trimming. It helps me to trim, especially when I sell more than half of the knives. I'm happy, I really am. Um, how it, so, no, I don't bargain. Once it's done, it's kind of done. When it peters out, I move on till the next trimming. But this is a good reason why you should subscribe and turn on your notifications, not only for the information and to become a part of, I think, a real nice community. You guys' comments educate me every day. Um, the way that you comment is great. Even though, you know, every now and then someone will look at one of my videos where I call this a handle which by the way i'm an old guy it is a handle and say it they are scales you idiot i know they're scales but it's a nice handle i get it i get it anyway <laughs> but for the most part you guys are very kind and very informative so when you see one of my things i make a bunch of mistakes i've never said i'm an expert um, you should check out the comments too because, and I've noticed a lot of you have been doing that and commenting on the comments. Um, that's what makes a community. You guys talking and I always read them and they make me happy. Um, anyway, this is the native, the lightweight, dark blue FRN scales, <laughs> the fiberglass reinforced nylon scales. This is part of that run of Spydeco's, the Blurple G10 knives and the Dark FRN, where they did production runs of S110V steel from Crucible. You know, uh, they have done CPM S110 uh, steel before, but it was always like a sprint run special. But a couple of years ago, they did that. Uh, this is one of them, of course, I love, love, and most of the knives that they did, maybe all of them, were the made in the USA knives, the ones made in Colorado like the Native and like the Mannix that I'll talk about. So I decided to go with the Native with that um, leaf shape. This is so typical Spydeco, I love it, leaf shape blade of course s110 steel that 50 50 choil that i talk so much about because i love that solution for me to be able to choke up on a knife jimping going up to the hole it's a three inch blade just for me a perfect size because i like them kind of smaller you take out that choil it's 2.4 inches on the edge the cutting edge the entire length is 6.9 inches and it weighs 2.4 ounces. It literally weighs less, <laughs> and that's why I talk about lightweight, than the Cricut. It has the back lock. Spydeco does great back locks. I know a lot of people, that's not their special lock because they like to, you know, sometimes it's harder. You know, people do this. If you notice me, I usually press it and bring it down slower. Um, but it's a real nice, strong lock. Four-way clip. Right, left, tip up, tip down. They use that three-bolt clip. And a little lanyard hole as well. That's the native with Crucible 110 steel. Bunch of them around. This is usually when you get steel like that. It's either an exclusive or a sprint run, but they've done a lot of production runs. Again, mostly with the Made in American, uh, Made in America knives, the Native, the Mannix, the uh, Military, the Paramilitary Two. I believe they did a Para Three. I'm not sure. Um, this is the Mannix lightweight FRN scales, uh, Crucible. S110V. This is actually the knife that I picked up off my desk first. This is what I was going to carry. Then I decided to go just a little bit smaller with the Native instead. Everything I said about the Native, super lightweight, that 50-50 choil, the leaf shape. Of course, the blade is bigger on the Mannix. It's 3.4 inches. That's 2.9 inches of cutting edge when you take out the choil. 
eight inches total. It weighs just three ounces. Now we're talking about a three point four inch blade, and of course it has the ball bearing lock, Spydeco's ball bearing lock, which is so nice, makes it so smooth, easy to close, and everything else. Just a real nice knife. The Manix, which is interesting, the Manix 2, which is a bigger knife, has my favorite wire clip where the native, the smaller one, doesn't. Um, so that's real nice. And it has a big lanyard hole. Like the size of, the Manix has like the size of the paramilitary 2 and the military and the para 3, these big lanyard holes where you can actually fit a full lanyard through it. A lot of Spydeco's lanyard holes, you can't fit a full lanyard through it. It's a real nice knife. Ah, it is. Again, S110V steel. That's the Manix 2. And there you go. It's an oh, so blue. <laughs> Even got blue scotch. Expensive blue scotch in here. <laughs> so, but man, I got a Trinidad. I've got blue scotch. I've got great knives, and I've got you guys. So get a grip, Kev. Life is great, and you guys are a part of that. I hope all of you are doing well. Take good care of yourselves, okay? Please take good care of yourselves so that you can be there for your family and friends. Take it from me. It's important that you're there. Um, really appreciate everyone. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications so you're involved in other things we do. I have a bunch of ideas. I'm just got to get out of my funk and start doing them so we can play with other collections over the weekends. We're not, I love knives. Uh, I don't know what the next knives from Spydeco will be, but there'll be fun ones. <laughs> We're expecting some good ones, some distributor exclusives, as well as right out of the Spydeco catalog. So ah, my fingers are crossed. It'll be early next week and I can show them off to you guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys more than ever. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.